One yeah. David? Yes, sir. Okay, that's your first name? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm an international student from the University of Memphis. I've come from Colombia. Cool. Uh, I do want to say that United States is the biggest, the biggest country that provides the most opportunities to basically the everyone in the world that yeah. wants to uh, actually take advantage of them. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't understand. What would you? My question is, what would you say to the leftist party that's saying that immigration is bad? But I think that immigration is good if it's filtered yeah. and if legally you come here to this country yeah. as I as, as I came here. Yeah. So my question is, what would you say to the leftist that say that immigration is bad? Yeah. Before I, before I answer that, do you feel slighted when somebody comes here illegal? Yes. When you came here illegal? Yes. Perfect. I feel the same way you feel. I think we should all be on the same page with this. If you come to America, it's a great thing. Please, the best, the brightest, the greatest in the world, come to America. But you got to do it legally. You can't just sneak through a fence and break the law. That's not fair. Because people, if you go out right now, you get a DUI, you're going to jail. If your kid in the car, you get a felony, and your kid is going to have to go with CPS or somebody else, and you're going to jail, they're not going to care. If you come across the border, somehow they think your kid's supposed to stay with you in the, in the detention center. That's insane. That's a two-tier system. You want to come to America, come over here legally. You did it legally. Why is it hard for everybody else to do it? I don't think it's right that we let these people come in here. And what's happening is we have an influx of illegals coming into our country of all races. And our taxpayer dollar is going to support them. I mean, to $50 million, I think they just did in New York. They putting these people in abandoned black schools that they, they, they abandoned because they did not financially support it, but they're using that money to put illegals in there. In, in, in Springfield and other places, they're giving them tens of thousands of dollars on EBT cards. That is insane. And you know what, what makes me mad about illegal immigration? That every minority should be peed about. Not one of these people that have came into our country illegally, fought in any war, shed any blood, had to pick not one cotton, had to do no struggle and black people struggle for this amount of time, they come in, get everything for free, and they, we still hanging on with a hope and a dream. So to your point, I think that people should come here legally. I, I'm, I'm thankful that you come to America. It's great that you're here. I hope you come here and graduate with straight A's. Don't be a victim and make That's a it. difference. And if you, and I don't know if you become a citizen or you go back or whatever you do, I'm glad you did it the right way, and I hope the best for you. Thank you. And, and Thank one you. thing you never forget, don't be a victim. I'm never. You got people that's born here that's victims, and you came from another country, and you love America more than half of them. Uh, I will say that uh, people here don't understand and don't take advantage of the opportunities as they should, because instead of actually doing something for their future, they're uh, so focused on the m minimal stuff yeah. and the materialistic stuff yeah. that won't give them a future to grow and to actually... Uh, you know, succeed. Um, I come from a place where there's real struggle. Yeah. The uh, people actually don't have any type of opportunity, but here in America, people has opportunity to actually, to actually. Uh, Hold on, I want to answer a question real quick. She said you come from Cuba, right? No, Colombia. Colombia. She said the same struggle in Colombia is in America. Is that true? No, it's not true at all. Because here you have the opportunities to succeed. Here, uh, the country, the America is giving you money for you to go to college. Colombia, no. People here, you're, you're getting food stamps. You're getting food stamps here. In Colombia, you're not getting food stamps. Not in Colombia? Not getting food stamps in Colombia. People in the streets, in the streets struggling for, for money in the, in the life and stuff here now. You have uh, homeless shelters here in Colombia that don't. So people don't understand. Colombia, democracy or dictatorship? All right, let's, let's go. <laughs> democracy. It is a democracy. Just, maybe you should do a little research real quick. But all right, thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother.